Hello guys and in today's video I am just going to be showing you my bullet journaling what I've been doing so far. So I kind of skipped January because um, I didn't really have time with the moving and stuff but now that I'm all settled in and that I thought I'd do the bullet journaling. So I know it's halfway through February right now but I have done February's and I want to show you that now and I'm going to hopefully be doing it every month for every month so I will in the future upload the videos about it if you enjoy this one um before the actual month or like on the first of the month but any ideas that I give you you can always you don't have to use it for February like me you can always use it for March or any month after that because it is pretty much halfway through February. It's the 6th. The day that I'm filming this. Alright. So I'm just going to get straight into it. So this notebook. Actually my mum bought it me. From WH Smiths. And I think it's around a £10. Sort of mark. And it's actually a fluffy one. And I asked her for this for so so long. And. Um, Obviously, my favourite colour is pink, and then I used to love flamingos because they were pink. So, yeah, and it has this nice glitter detail here as well. Looks really nice. And the beautiful sequins, and it was quite expensive, and I haven't used it. I've had it about a year, so I'm not sure if it's still available. But they do certainly still do fairy notebooks. I'm just not sure if they do this one. Alright, so as. I like um, notebooks that have this on it because then you can like catch the page and stuff so you know where you are. But anyway, the first page has quotes and they're just quotes that when I wake up, I like to look at something that kind of like sparks and brings my day, makes my day. So I've just did this title here and then there's a few different things there and I actually did write these before in another notebook because I started in another notebook but I didn't really like what they looked like so I just redid them in this one and these look a lot better and more organised and stuff than the other so I'm not gonna um, read them out but I can put them on the screen if you want some of the harder ones to read or if you can just read it or pause it or anything. Alright, so going on to the next page. This is my January achievements page. Obviously, I don't need this anymore. And because I didn't start until like the 22nd or so, I don't really have that much achievements. But I'm hoping to do one of these for February as well. So, I just love the detailing of the blue and then the nice hearts. This is... Um, a highlighter, this highlighter, and it came in a pack of about 16, there was like 6 or so different colours, and there was about 2 or 3 of each, so there's that, and I just basically opened my under, under 18's bank account, which is really good, because I needed it for a job, so this is my February spread here, I have decided to um, go all the way down like this and I basically for the different months because there's different number of days that the grid will be different but I've gone five across seven down and then put the days of the week and then started obviously it starts on a Saturday but I liked Monday to be at the top because that's like the start of the week, like a fresh week sort of thing. Because Saturday's halfway through the week and I thought it wasn't really very good. So I've got like a little section down here where the notes go. And I've just got my cousin's birthday and my nan's birthday at the moment. But hopefully I'll get a few more things because it's not even halfway through yet. And then this is my habit tracker and I have a key here. This means that I've done it and the name, this one means that I haven't done it. So I used 
at just a small pink highlighter to do this and then I did the little joined right in underneath. What I find easier how to do this right in is draw the letters individually and then write like draw the swirly lines. So these are my like habits that I want to get good at remembering. So I want to wake up before 9am eat at least one piece of fruit and veg so that would be like two so that's like a two in one sort of thing go to bed before 10 p.m because lately i've been going to bed about 12 and stuff and then drink two bottles of water daily so i've actually got my bottle of water with me now so in the back here oh it's hard to see because on the camera but it's looks better in person um but in the back it says 9am 10am 11 12 and then 1 and it goes 2 3 4 5 and 6 so it's about 12 now and i'm only at halfway through 9 and 10 so i do need to get going with that actually so i should be drinking that <laughs> Once I finish filming this, I want to drink, quickly drink all the way down to about there. <laughs> and then I actually leave the house at one. So if I can drink all the way to the bottom and then fill it up and then I'll take it with me because I have college. So that'll be good. So I think I will be able to take that off. So originally I've, I ripped this down. Because I like to practice what it's going to look like on another piece of paper before I put it in my notebook. Because I don't really want to rip any pages out because it starts making it really thin and really loose. And it just looks a bit like bad and stuff. So I've just um, done this. And I did before have the numbers written like next to the boxes. But I felt like that was just wasting space kind of thing and it just helps not to. I'll see if I can find it. This is what it looked like before. Obviously I wasn't all the way down with all of them. I just made this mistake here. I was meant to write E and it's, I put two E's on it. And I tried to fix it and made it look worse. But anyway, there's that. And then it turned out like this, which I'm really, really proud of. And I'm trying to just stick with three or four different things to remember per month. So any of these, so I've actually um, failed all of them, but this one. So this one, hopefully I'll be able to pass. But um, I'm going to try and make it. So if I have three crosses... So on these two bottom ones, these are going to have to be passed down to next month because I've got three crosses. But this one, I've got all ticks and this one, I've only got one cross. So say it as lives. So if I get, if I lose three lives, then I have to pass it on to the next month and try and um, do good at it then. But I'm still going to try hard to get as least crosses as I can for these two as well. And then I think this is the last page, February goals and achievements. So, so far I've got four and I'm putting green. If they have a green highlight, it means that they're goals, so they haven't been done yet. And if they have orange, it means that they have been done yet. So I need to finish my reading book, get my hair cut, declutter my bedroom, reorganise my bedroom. And I actually want to film the bottom, the bottom two. Because I feel like a lot of people do enjoy watching stuff like that. So I might do it um, like a two-in-one video. Because some some of my subscribers and that don't like that video. Some of them do. So it's like a win-win, a lose-lose sort of thing. <laughs> so yeah. And then I wanted to speak about this. I actually got it from... The pound shop so it is only a pound it's got a few marks of pen and stuff on it because i have had it a while but it's just this beautiful pink pencil case and when i first got it i actually got 
this notebook with it. This was also a pound from the pound shop. So the two colours together I think look really, really beautiful. And then the notebook's actually pretty much the same colour as my bottle. It looks a lot more similar in person than it does in the camera. But, um, yeah, I'm just using that little pink notebook for college at the minute. And then I'm going to switch to this big blue one. And then I'll use this anyway. But I'm not sure whether to... I'm going to try and clean it. But I might have to buy another one because there's pen marks on it. Oh no, it's coming off with my nails. Okay, so that, that's the pencil case without marks on it. So I don't need to buy another one, which is really good. And then this is the book that I want to finish reading. So it's called Will You Love Me? The Rescue Dog That Rescued Me. And it's by, by Barbie Keel. And I am actually halfway through. I think there's one... There's two... 118 no 200 yeah 218 because i like to read the epilogues it's quite cute and it gives you a little insight in the into the book so there's 218 so this is only four minute four pages long and then i am about to start reading that one no i'm about to start reading 10 i think because I like, yeah, because I like to read like a whole paragraph at once. I don't like to be halfway, a whole chapter at once. I don't like to be halfway through a chapter and stop reading. So, um, yeah. Oh, and then one more thing. I just wanted to show you guys this pen, how cute it is. Um, I actually don't know where it's from. My mum got it me for my birthday like two years ago. If you know where it's from, comment down below. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will have a few more pages to show you guys. But this might be the end of the video. Any more pages. Because this video is already about 15 minutes long. 10 or 15 minutes. Any other pages that I add. I might just put in the March. The March one. But just the one thing with... um using sharpies because i use this black one is that it goes through the page so i can only write on every other page as you can see and it kind of is a little annoying but we'll manage all right so thanks so much for watching don't forget to like if you enjoyed it subscribe for more and i'm posting notifications so you know when i upload comment down below if you know what shop this pen's from it is from the uk and follow my Instagram, chrysalan902. I'm going to add it right here <laughs> in text. And say hello and goodbye to Holly. Bye.